Hey Juggies, it's your old pal McJugger faggot here. Was that trying too hard? I think that was trying too hard. So in today's story, I'm going to be talking about some kid that I used to know and go to school with um, who actually literally, figuratively, metaphorically tried to fight every single student that attended this school. This kid didn't even make it to high school because he fought so many students. He got expelled, I think, before high school. So yeah, he pretty much got fucked right in the pussy. So anyway, we're just going to name him MC Mac Daddy because he was the Mac Daddy of fist fighting and being absolutely fucking white. You know, every day that passes, I think more and more of how much it sucks to be fucking white because you have so many different people ruining whitehood. You've got Nicole Arbor, you've got Onision, you've got Slim Jesus, Maddie B, Leafy is here, McJuggernugget, Pyro, Keemstar. Oh man, I fucking hate being white, dude. I wish I could have just born a black kid. I, I wish I was just a fucking black kid. But anyway, Back to MC Mac Daddy. MC Mac Daddy, man. This was, this kid was the original fucking savage, dude. This kid did not hesitate to fight anybody. Nobody. This kid would fight anyone. He fought kids big or small. He'd fight you if you were gay or straight. He even tried to fight a girl one time. Now, the first instance I had with MC Mac Daddy was in third grade. Yeah, you're probably sitting there thinking, what could this kid have done in third grade? Dude, wait till I tell you, which I'm about to get to, when the story that'll never fucking end. Now, MC Mac Daddy had very severe anger issues, so I kind of feel bad for making fun of him, but then again, I don't because it makes for entertaining content. Now, MC Mac Daddy had tried to choke out another student. Yes, believe it or not, this kid tried to kill another student, and my third grade teacher was like, nah, -uh, we ain't having no homicides in my class today, so she done broke that shit up, bruv. Now, this fight, I really don't even understand how it started. It went from this kid having a temper tantrum to one kid kind of saying some stupid passive-aggressive joke, and then the other kid pursuing to, like, smack him in the chest or whatever, and then try to, like, full mount this kid and rear naked choke him. I shit you not, dude. This kid was fucking crazy. If he had made it to high school level, if, the, very, the strong word is if he ever made it to high school, he would have gunned down the whole school. This kid would have been on the news for a mass shooting. Now, I made pretty cool with this kid. I set myself up for this future scenario before mass shootings were, like, really publicized. Even though I was dumb and ignorant and didn't really know if they were publicized or not, which probably they were. But not, needless to say, I would have been part of a, a, a statistic of survivors because he would have been like, <laughs> hey, yo, newts, don't come to school tomorrow. And then he would have given me a little wink and then like a nudge nudge into his backpack. And I would have been good. I would have not showed up to school that day. Mass shooting occurred. Now I can already hear everyone saying, oh my God, news, you're fucking insensitive. How could you joke about school shootings like that? And well, it's a thing called, um, I'm a savage. No, it just means it's, it's a joke, dude. It's a fucking prank, bro. Come on. Now seeing the story is more about random shit that I'm throwing into it to make it entertaining. MC Mac Daddy, the other occurrence that I had interacted with him with in a wonderful fight was on the blacktop during recess in fifth or fourth grade, if I remember correctly. Now this kid, for some reason, obviously was over a kickball game. He has anger issues and he throws temper tantrums like a fucking four-year-old. So you can already deduce where this is probably gonna go. He had tried to fight uh, a kid who is now a future rapper, white rapper, for reasons unknown. Uh, I just witnessed the fight and immediately wanted to cry because the teachers were, were, were uh, blowing on their whistles to let everybody know to get the fuck back inside and start learning and shit. So she, there, there's my third girl, or whatever teacher, blowing her fucking whistle, and there's fucking MC Mac Daddy throwing hands with some other kid that's just like, dude, what the fuck, bro? He's sitting there like swinging and shit, and then there's the other kid just like with his hands just nonchalantly tossed out like, can you stop? Like, this doesn't hurt, please stop. And MC Mac Daddy made it his fucking mission to make sure he scratched, clawed, and smacked the kid. Like, this kid didn't throw punches or shit. This kid, like, clawed. He, he like, bit. Like, this kid was crazy, dude. I would not... I... I, uh, I would have not wanted to fight this kid, dude. I would have been, like, bleeding and bitten. I would have been afraid I got rabies. Dog. MC Mac Daddy, dude, was the original Savage. He had he had a lot of other occurrences that were kind of minor. Like, this kid just tried to fight everybody, dude. That's just really the moral of the story here. So if you can ever take anything away with this, if you're still in high school, still in even middle school, is don't fight anybody that's willing to bite, scratch, slap, and kick you. Because they will win. They will fucking win. I don't care how big you are. If you get scratched or bitten, that shit hurts. Okay? You know, broken flesh and bleeding everywhere is a lot worse than broken bones. That's a fact, dude. That's a fact. Anyway, guys, if you like what you're seeing, like what you're hearing, hit that like button, subscribe, and leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. My name's Anutify, and as always, have a fucking fantastic day. Working nine to five for your average bro. Weekends come and go, but I stay at a For what my life is worth, always make it work. My intuition.
Foundation led me to my purpose on this earth First things first, my peace of mind Maybe later down the line But hurry, we will never guarantee the time Fine, rewind those clock arms back Another Monday morning means another week